Number 11 then, from paper one of the 2021 Higher Maths Resource Paper. Three-mark question here. It's on transformation of functions. There's not actually a lot to it. In fact, there's no working needs to be shown because it just says state, state, state. So just write down, write down, write down, and there's your three marks. As long as you do it correctly, and you should do, what does it say? You've got some function. You don't know what it is, but you do know that the highest it ever gets to is 8, and that happens when x is 6. So if you were to think of a graph of it, it could look like, I don't know, it could look like that. So that would be it there. That happens, let's just put some axis in. That would be at 8 when that was at 6, and there's that function f. So what about this new function g, 2f of x minus 9? Now what that says is, but it's just state, so it just says what's the maximum value. What that says is, to calculate the values of the new one, you do two times the values of the old one. Remember, the values are the heights, that's what you plot. When you plot the y-coordinate, you're plotting the value of the function at wherever the input number was. So it's just, this is just about heights. The height of g is twice the height of f, but subtract 9. So you could put this in. So what's the maximum going to be? Well, it'll be twice the height of this when it was at its maximum, so it's 2 times 8 minus 9. But you don't even need to show that. 16 take away 9, so the maximum value of that's going to be 7. I guess a mark. Now, B, here's a new function, H, which is equal to this. F of x minus 4. Now, notice there's a shift here. It's not finding its answers as the same place as x. To get the answers for H, whatever you want to plot them, what this says is you'll take x, f's answers, but you'll have to go 4 back to find it, in which case you've got to bring it forward 4. So if you like, that's been shifted forward 4. But apart from that, if it's just saying what's the maximum value, we can forget that part and just say, well, it's just the heights we want. Well, the heights are just the y's, the heights are just the values, the heights are just what they say. So this says the height of h is the same as the height of f, add on 5. So if the highest that got to was 8, the maximum value of this is going to be 8 plus 5, which is 13. That gives a mark. But that was just part one. Part two says, ah, but when though? Well, you could just think it's been shifted forward four. So if that happened at six, then that's going to happen four forward, so it's going to be at 10. Or you could do it sort of properly and say this. F was at its maximum when it was acting on six. If I put a six in there, I'll get the biggest value of F. Now that says x minus 4, so it's x minus 4 equals 6, which means it's going to happen at x equals, take that across, and there's your shift forward 4, isn't it? At x equals 10. But you probably don't think of that, you just think it's been shifted forward 4, so it's going to go from 6 to 10.